put some of the other things in front of it. Jessica and Max sent a basket. And the theme was everything gold. We had some Jack Daniels. What is this? Whiskey praline pecans, because she knows her Uncle Frank, her favorite Uncle Frank, loves Jack Daniels. And then there were gold flutes. And the gold flutes go with this beautiful bottle of champagne came in a lovely box. And there was creamy deli style mustard, Oreo fun sticks, they're gold. Honey, while well, we listen to Honey Love. Oops. Ghirardelli chocolate. Goldfish. Something somebody's already eaten. Pinot Grigio. Oh, white wine salami. Hmm. Some brie. We should put some different music on. Gold M&M's, and I can't steal them because my mother also likes M&M's. Gold bears. Golden gourmet peanuts. That's already open too. People have been in here. And a Lumia diffuser, crisp apple. It's gold. More goldfish. Chocolate mint. It was a very cute idea, and we were sorry that Jessica and Mark couldn't be there. And Jessica, if you're watching this, your grandmother took extra fortune cookies for you. If she tries to keep them, you tell her we know she has to get those mailed out to you. And this was from Walter and Tom. It's a trivet. And it's about Charlestown. It's one of the old maps. It's very nice. Charlestown and the Boston came in a little case. And it came with two cards, so I guess Walter and Tom couldn't decide which card they liked better. Maybe? I don't know. Um, that basket had cards in it. And The player came with tons of records, so we'll put something else on. My mother has tons of records too, so that will be good. These are the Cape Cod, she said that was here. And um, she said to my father, Do you remember seeing that for me? And he laughed. He said, Yep. More gold flutes. These are from my Aunt Connie and my Uncle Jim. They have, where is it? I wonder if there's a way to make this show up more. Um, maybe put the gold paper on it. Oh, no. Um, they say Frank and Muriel, happy 50th. So they match and they each have a $50 bill on them. So they will probably go to eat with that since my father is telling us again today that he doesn't need anything. And he's telling us not to buy him Father's Day gifts. And when we were buying decorations, I uh, insisted on getting these bears because. Um, my parents honeymooned in the Poconos in some lodge and uh, there were these, the theme was the two little bears, Hubby and Chubby. I kept calling them Hubby. Um, and Grace said she didn't remember that and then my mother pulled these out. So that's Grace running by trying to stay out. Some little salt shakers from the Poconos, and they say Frank and Muriel. 
and they say hubby and chubby. that I blogged about. Be careful with them because they're amazing. They are, first off, they're delicious. Um, there's a bunch of different flavors. They're from a place called Fantastic Fortunes. Records because here's another. There were white chocolate and milk chocolate and dark chocolate, and some have sprinkles and some have uh, almonds and some have toffee. And they, these were the favorites, but they're huge. And inside, with fortunes, we pick six sayings that our parents have. Oh, we're not keeping up with the records. Okay, I'll put this on. Hang on. Kevin's gift is still the top gift. I can go through these all, and they're all very nice, but you'll just never top restoring this record player. Okay, so inside the fortunes were customized. We picked sayings that our parents had. Um, one of them is from my mother and it says, because I'm your mother, not their mother. That was her reply if you mentioned your friend's mothers let them, you know, hang from the rafters. And one of them that you got from my mother was if all your friends jumped off the Tobin Bridge, would you? And, and it's the one that drove me most crazy. Why can't we be more like the Waltons? I hated that show. And that was back in the day when choices were limited. No VCRs, no DVDs, no DVR, no cable, no satellite, no dish TV. And Mama Kelly and my mother watched that stupid show and I hated it. So if anything would make me crazy, it was asking me why I couldn't be more like the Waltons. And from my father you got, if you're too sick to play, you can't eat. And that was, that's an inside baseball joke in the house. Because Grace would pretend she was sick to get away from the dinner table. And then five minutes later she'd yell playing. So my father got so frustrated with her. He put down his fist at the dinner table. He said, if you're too sick to play, you can't eat. Which, of course, what he meant was, if you're too sick to eat, you can't play. But we all held our breath. We were afraid to laugh until he laughed, and then we all laughed. And another one for my father was, I can't put mayonnaise on your sandwich. It will give you worms. Because he hates mayonnaise, and it's not enough for him not to have to eat it. He had to make sure he didn't have to look at it or have you eat it. He said that so much, my Frankie says it. And from my father was, you can't pierce your ears because if you put holes in your head, you'll sink when you swim. I still don't have pierced ears. And I can remember people asking me in my 20s, I said, because if I put holes in my head, I'll sink when I swim. And I guess it's time for a new record. What will we go with? We've got... Oh, Frankie Lane. I know. So the woman that works at Fantastic Fortunes was saying how much she really liked them. Um, and people love them. And better than how good they look. And better than how unique they are. They're